All right, here's part two of the videos. Um, continuing on with the fuel system. Uh, here's the stock one with the feed to the engine being threaded. And it's hard to see, but your two feed is the bigger one and the returns this little one. So, uh, AC Delco. GF578. This one looks like this. You can see it's upside down, but the flow. So this will actually replace the stock one and will eliminate the return. And then the return, I'm going to have. I've got some AN stuff already made up here. This hose will just go right there. Uh, and click onto that, and then this return line is going to go up to my fuel pressure regulator that's in the engine bay. All right, this is where I ended up mounting the fuel pressure regulator. I had to trim a little bit out of the, the battery tray so the feed line can clear. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm trying to get a better picture of it. Oh, you can't really even see it. Maybe down here. The quick, the male quick disconnect goes right underneath. So the feed line can come off the LS6 rail here. And then it will actually plug in down there. And then for the LSA, feed will go here to the rail. I still got to figure out the size hose for that. Um, I also did use a heat sleeve for the return line. Let's see, right, right there. Plan on going headers. So I wanted to make sure that was far away as possible. Give me a little sneak peek underneath here. I gotta zip tie it up, but this is a three foot long sleeve. On Amazon it was like 12 bucks. Should have probably ordered two because I'll need one for the alternator wire as well. And then I just ran that return line back with the stock stuff and just have it sitting there right now. All right, here is the fuel lines with the fuel filter removed. Uh, I didn't have the right quick disconnect fittings or a tool to get off the feed. So I just cut it off and then removed it. Um, and then here is, actually it's gonna go this way, the replacement. And then I will get that installed. And then my return will be this guy here. And it's gonna go to the return here. Okay, so the the filter that I'm replacing it with is a little bit bigger than the factory one. And there's little ridges in here. One here, one up here, and one down here. I just sanded those flush real quick. And now this fits in. It's still snug, so it holds it in tight. But it fits in just like that. Perfect. All right, there's the filter installed and the return right into the pipe as well. I am going to hook up the fuel rail. I'm still with the LS6 on there right now, but I'm going to try to hook this up so I can drive it to work and do the fuel pump there. It's way easier on a two post to drop the tank. So I'm gonna hook that up, leak test this, and then go from there. testing now and we're good I just put the wiring up here just to get me to work and then once I drop the tank I'll reroute it make it look a lot cleaner like I said just hanging this up get it out of the way for now but uh looks 
like the last part of this is the uh, the fuel pump and then we're uh, ready to put the blower on.